Society's Sickened Cecilia. Drawn by Go Team Slugs. Colored by Go Team Slugs. Written by Go Team Slugs. Just leave me alone. Tanji? What's the matter? What do you say we go for a walk, Tanji? All right. Let's bring our new Mollus friend. He seems happy to be by your side. And sleds always make you smile. They do. We do have a lot in common. He appears to be Palafera at Pillsbury, though I can't see how. Does it remind you of Rio? It's been a while since he last saw her, hasn't it? Yes and yes. I should pay her a visit soon. I owe her that much. I'm sure you will. Come on, Tans, let's go for a walk. It'll be nice. When you're ready, you can tell me what's been bothering you. Thank you for the offer, Sophie. While I will take you up on your offer for a walk, I'm not sure I feel comfortable telling you what's been ailing me. It's nothing really, no it's really nothing personal. I just want you, don't know you that well yet. Would it be okay if I just walk? I suppose it also depends on the length of the walk. How far are we going? Do you plan on going for a long walk? Whatever you feel like, we'll go for as long as you feel comfortable. Just tell me when you've had enough, and we'll stop. I ask why you feel comfortable to share? No pressure. Tanji, it's okay if you don't want to tell me. I... Oh. A broken heart. Bless butterflies. Trust issues on top of nervousness. Ah, uh, don't worry, Tanji. Your opinions are sick with me. I will not be brash or impulsive with my words. Just don't take anything to heart when I get silly, okay? All right. Two hours later. Yes, you see, most slugs have a mantle situated just behind their head. But Doug here is a mantle slug. Slugs in this family have mantles that extend across their entire body. That's why it looks like he doesn't have one. But in fact, the entirety of his top is his mantle. Huh, very interesting. Wow, Tanji, you sure do know of your slugs. Of course, I've only seen sea slugs and sea hares since I was bound to the water. But I've seen several over time. But I never really thought to look in the Merfolk Library to learn about them. I'm sure your fascination with slugs is greatly inspired by Rio. Especially at such a young age. Not to mention all she did for you would have greatly contributed. Oh, thank you, Sylvie. Yes, while well, I do owe a lot of inspiration to that wonderful Spanish dancer, I also simply grew to life their characteristics and designs. I enjoy going to the local library. I'm interesting to think that some forms of paper are not water-soluble. I'm glad you can now traverse the land freely. I'm very happy for you. How are they working out for you? Is it easy to walk? Is it about comfortable? Yes, they're amazing. I can't thank the professor enough. It's opened up so many possibilities for me. And yes, it's perfectly easy to walk. And the belt fits comfortably. It fits like a glove. That's great. I'm so happy for you, buddy. Though, personally, I think they fit like a mitten. Her, it, fits like a mitten. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Say, Tanj, let's look for a nice place to sit, somewhere it's scenic and peaceful, without any distractions. Uh, yet? Sure. How says Tanji, we're all alone in a quiet place, nothing to disturb us. Do you feel comfortable? Yes, this is fine. The view is gorgeous as well. Very scenic, as well as serene. The sunny sun looks very nice against the mountains, and the trees really hide to the image. They look so beautiful this time of year. I am comfortable, and relax. Though these branches don't serve as a suitable substitute for a seat, I am fine. I suppose I find little discomfort because of a lack of bones. Those with bones may find the branch rather discomforting to their posterior. I suppose I don't even really have a posterior. Of these aspects, both of which Doug here shares with them. Yeah. You ready? Yes, I trust you. You're a good friend, Sylvie.
It's society. Much of our society is corrupt in this level. It's morally corrupt and blind to what is right and what really matters. Whether it be out of ignorance or selfishness. And I feel like there's nothing I can really do. Nothing we can do to make a substantial enough difference. Oh, I see. Well, they all have our talents, Tams. Is there anything you do well that can improve our society? I'm sure it capable of much more than you think. And every little bit helps. Just start small, and perhaps your efforts will grow into something huge. I know. Thanks, Sol. It's just, I feel like nobody feels quite the same way I do about certain aspects. I feel like a fruitcake. I touched on this with the Sib Cops. If I were to share, how many would bother to listen? So what if they think you're a fruitcake? You're just shallow. The signs, oddballs can be charming in their own awkward way. I'm an oddball. I'll be an outcast with you. Go misfits. Double the spirit, buddy. You're right, Solvi. Thank you. If only one person listened, they'd be worth it. What matters is that I try. It doesn't matter how many listen. Only that I make a difference for his kingdom. And share his love with others. That's the spirit, Terrence. Literally. They're not the only one who feels like they don't belong. I may be more extroverted than you, but we're really not that much different. We're not meant to fit in. I'm meant to reinvent the show. I'd be lying if I said I don't struggle with feeling less understood, with no idea how to help the world. Now we have each other, and together, with God's guidance, we'll fix the broken. God's always with us, Tange. It's not always going to be easy, but that's okay. It may not always be easy having sensitive personality types, but don't let that overshadow the positive aspects. Sensitivity is a powerful thing. The more sensitive, the more gentle and caring. And no matter what happens, God will always be with us. He's always looking out for us, even when we fail to recognize it. And if people do push us down, well, some weeds can spread their seeds when trampled. It only help us in the long run. You're right, soul. What doesn't relinquish you only empowers you. You're quite wise, and have a talent for coming up with low circuit tenses on the fly. Unlike me, I'm a good writer, but less than adequate speaker. We all have our talents. Thank you for campaigning and advocating for me, and for God more importantly. That's what truly matters. I will focus on my strengths. To leave the rest up to God. Lord willing, may I also pass my understanding to someone who needs healing this fall. Thanks, Fun. Heh, <laughs> I actually memorized much of what I said from various sources, and I'm only repeating it, so most of those senses were not original to me. Of course, it's our utmost pleasure and greatest honor to do so. Yes, you got it, Tange. It's an effective ideal mindset. God will point out and clear the pass ahead. I'm sure I'll put someone in your path for you to bless and comfort one day. By the way, I would recommend that you listen to music and meditate like this. It really does help a lot. Yes, those do help, as this nice scenery. But yep, I care not in the slightest for what society thinks is right, nor what it considers to be normal. I don't care about accurately representing the ideal behavior for a traditional female. I am who I am. I'll do what I do, regardless of whether they like it or not. And I don't care for what's trending. I suppose you could say that I am a society sickness, Cecilia. Alas, I must do my part to help society see truth. I see. Oh, good for you, pal. I concur. A society sick in Cecilia? What a tongue twister. Half an hour later. So how do you think you got to be where you are, Tange? Have you ever wondered? I have. I figured I was likely either lost or abandoned by my mother. No. You don't truly think your mother would do that, do you? You think she would be that careless? Remember, we can't just jump to conclusions, Sylvie. Maybe there was a justifiable reason she would. If the conditions are not adequate, it can prove difficult to raise them on top of maintaining oneself. But if this were to be the case, I would have profound respect and thankfulness for her actions. This would imply that she gave me to... Rio to ensure that I would survive, or perhaps she didn't directly give me to her, and rather set me in an area where she knew a caring soul would find me. Or in this case, soul, aquatic soul, she could have discarded me. 
But instead, she gave me a chance to learn. She knew it was right. Ah, oh, that's true, Tange. One shouldn't be put to judge. Well, if your parent, well, if your parents had indeed given you up, I hope it was for a good reason. Regardless, I'm proud to be a part of your tribe. Even if they couldn't. At least you know where Rio is. I'm sure she's doing okay without you. We may never know, Sylvie. So not in this life. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Yes, Rio knows how to take care of herself, but she can't do so as well on land. At least you could visit her from time to time, and now you've got Doug, and perhaps more gastropod prints that come. Oh look, there's an island in front of the casita. That was a lovely walk. Hi, Isla. Good evening to you, Amiga. Good evening, Isla. How are you? Good evening, you. Good evening, you two. I overheard a little bit of your conversation after you passed the house to near the casita. I heard talk of Rio. Were you discussing Handy's background? Have you gotten to when Rio sees and seizes the uh, positive opportunity? Well, I let we aren't really relaying my backstory. We were just questioning some aspects to how I got to be where I am today. A possible circumstances and events could have been potential candidates for I was in the situation I found myself in. I don't remember a time before Rio. All I remember is a few glimpses of aquatic living, and of course when she gave me up for adoption. Brilliant doesn't know either, as she never told her. Yes, that'd be difficult for any sea slug to do, or any aquatic gastropod for that matter. But it isn't out of the realm of possibility. I wouldn't be surprised if Rio likewise has no idea, or perhaps she knows some of it, but not all of it. All I know is that in a way I've been adopted twice. Well, and truth, really it's right. Ah, I see Tanji. Well, maybe one day we'll find out what really happened, but I guess that's what I guess what's really important is that you're here now, what you do now, and the here and now, when what you do to honor God. Wait, three times. Oh, I get it, right. What a kindred spirit Miss Relia is. Take it upon herself to adopt three children. Thankfully, the burden was tightened after I'd moved into the casino. Kanji, I was more than happy to walk and talk with you. You may not always realize it, but you're awesome. You're a constant presence of peace. The tip of the starfish, a life changer. And don't you ever forget that, pal. She's right, Tanji. I concur. Ah, uh, thank you both. Oh, Sylvie. Words can't possibly express what that means to me. Nor the gratitude I have in you saying that. I'm eternally grateful you think I have what it takes. But remember, I'm not perfect. The heart can be deceitful. And I might have three. But in all seriousness... Thank you so, so much. As William Shakespeare once said, All the world's indeed a stage, and the men and women merely players. We all have purpose, whether we be real, or characters manifested with real experiences. Okay, Sylvie, you can let go now. End.